Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. And today in this video is something that I needed, I needed to talk about on the channel real, real fast, okay? It, it, it is about the ending of Ninjago. So I'm telling you right now, four minutes, uh, sorry, four seconds into the video, I'm telling you guys, if you don't want to be spoiled on the ending of Ninjago, click off the video now. If you don't care about hearing the ending of Ninjago, then stay on the video. So, again, I click off the video if you don't want to be spoiled, okay? I'm not going to have some angry person who obviously doesn't have a life come down to my comment section and cuss me out because I'm showing stuff that he didn't want to hear. So I'm telling you guys already. Spoiler alert. Spoilers. Click off the video if you don't want to be spoiled. Let's get into it. So we have here episode 15 and episode 16 of Ninjago Seabound season 15. The last two episodes of season 15. So, in this video I'm going to be talking about the the vi basically the video descriptions of these and the ending of Ninjago. So let's just get into it. Episode 15 is called Neod. Okay. Overpowered by Wajira, the ninjas retreat to the NGTV building to regroup after being rescued from underwater by Benthmar or Benthomar. I, I, I think it's Benthomar. Jay is in bad shape. After having uh, swallowed too much water, Nia is unable to draw it out and uh, contemplates uh, a decision to save Jay that she may never be able to come back from. So basically, uh, what I'm getting from that is that... Um, Something happened to Jay, and she has to help him in some way in this episode. And what's going on about that? Um, that's really all I have to say about uh, 15. Uh, what the main thing I wanted to talk about this, uh, this video was episode 16, The Turn of the Tide. So let's get into this. I have a lot to say about this. As we can see, Prince Kalmar and Wajira battle Nia with Benifmar, and the other ninjas do their best to help eventually... Because it says, and the, and the other ninjas do their best to help eventually... It says, it says eventually Kalmar's... T temper. I'm assuming it's supposed to say that the ninja do their best to calm Kalmar's temple, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so it says help eventually Kalmar's temple. Finally, rankless uh, Wajira who turns on him and devours him whole. Just as she turns on the ninja, Nia fulfills her destiny and pries the amulet from Wajira's head, defeating her. However, it's too late for Nia, who says goodbye and dives into the ocean. So that is something a little bit crazy, so let's talk about that. So, as we can see from the first four words... Prince Kalamar and Wajira battle Nia. So as we see from that, obviously Kalamar found out a way to revive Wajira. So obviously from this we see that that Wajira does awaken just from these five words of the description of the video or of the episode. Yeah, so 
I'm assuming Benthomar is uh is Colomar's adopted son from uh not adopted son um adopted brother from episodes five and six that just came out today. Um, I'm assuming that's who that is. Um, I I actually forgot his name, but I'm assuming that's who it is. Is Colomar's adopted brother. Um, so yeah, so, um, and the main thing I want to see here is that Nia fulfills her destiny and pries the amulet out of Wajira's head, defeating her. However, it is too late for Nia, who says goodbye and dives into the ocean. So what does that mean for Nia's character? Is she not going to be, uh, part of the ninja team anymore? That's the crazy thing, is that... It basically just says says goodbye and dives into the ocean. So, I mean, that could mean that she just stays in the ocean for a while just to calm her powers in her way or stuff like that. Um, but we don't really get any description on that, so I don't really know. Um, but my thoughts on this overall is um, is crazy actually is uh kind of crazy um and the other thing i wanted to talk about this video that i kind of wanted to add on to this um was um if people have seen i'll put the voice clip in here from nia talking to maya found but we found an basically they're tied up and island. she's talking the storm about island. It belonged to Ojira. It was being protected by the keepers of the... Go on. Pray tell. About these keepers? About the storm Can you tell me where it is? This and that. And stuff like that. So if people haven't seen my channel already, I posted a short of a leaked picture of Colomar, which... Which uh, looks like the island that they were on in season fourteen, um, where uh, he he was standing on, and basically it looks like he was on the island behind him. So um so um so um I'm assuming Prince Kalmar actually goes to the island from season 14 and takes the storm amulets from the keepers it is a kid show so i don't think prince kalmar is going to kill the keepers they might just capture them or something but um but um now but now that i'm seeing this and how we saw that leaked image i'm assuming kalmar found the island and he and went to go take the storm amulet from them so yeah, so um, let me know what you guys think of all this. Um, I'm sorry, um, I'm still working on uh, my uh, episode 5 and 6 review um, of Ninjago Season 15 Seabound. So uh, just be prepared for those videos. Um, yeah, uh, that's it though. Thank you guys. Please like, sub, and comment. Thank you. Bye.